After the most recent weather event where we had to delay the start of school, I thought it would be important for people to understand and know everything that goes into making those decisions. Anytime the weather looks bad, we uh, partner and call with other superintendents and the National Weather Service, and we try to get some idea of what the forecast is gonna be. We start driving the roads that night, and we wanna make the call as early as we can, but if the roads are clear, um, we typically will delay it until the following morning. My responsibility is to report the road conditions to Dr. V. Our district being as large as it is, as far as square mileage, it's over almost 100 square miles. So there's a lot of roadways that Scott Schaefer and I will check and uh, to make sure that it's, it's safe for our kids, our buses, and our parents to get to and from school. Well, the bridges are certainly the, the Achilles heel of any decision that we make. All of our vehicles uh, uh, in the transportation department have at some point in time in their regular route has to cross one of our major bridges. At about three o'clock in the morning, we have a full team of people that are driving the roads and really checking our buildings to ensure that power is on. Um, without power, obviously, we can't have heat. Whenever there's a chance that weather's gonna be cold, we automatically start monitoring systems and adjust those systems. The other side of my department that deals with inclement weather is the custodial staff. Uh, they walk the buildings, they check the buildings, you know, they're really our first eyes on the campus uh, if anything is not right. Once we know the roads conditions, we know whether our buildings are, have electricity and, and natural gas so that they can run their heaters, then we try to make the call as early as we can. The safety and security of your students and our staff are our utmost importance and that really drives our decision whether to delay school or close school.